everyone, this is Seth Jessica, Emerging Media Manager at Homes for Heroes. Welcome to another two minute tip Tuesday and another Zoom virtual meeting app tutorial. So I thought on today's episode, I would do another Zoom virtual meeting app tutorial for a couple reasons. First and foremost, they seem to be pretty popular among you guys and I'm not surprised by that because we're all trying to get more accustomed to using the virtual meeting app as we're getting accustomed to working remotely. And the second reason is, there's a lot that you can take advantage of when using the Zoom virtual meeting app and I haven't touched on those yet. So in today's episode, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to share the five hacks that will help you become more proficient in using the Zoom virtual meeting app. Now make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end of this episode because I'm gonna share one bonus hack as well as one freebie, but that's gonna come at the end of the episode so make sure you stay tuned for the entire episode. So before we jump in, to today's episode, I wanna make sure that I touch base on two things to keep you from getting frustrated when you try to use these hacks. Uh, first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to check your computer's operating system and make sure that it's new enough and compatible with Zoom software in order to be able to take advantage of these hacks. Uh, second thing, you're gonna to wanna to go into the settings tab within your meeting and make sure that you enable the keyboard shortcuts in order to take advantage of these keyboard shortcuts. So once you've done those two things, it will really keep you from getting frustrated when trying to use these hacks. So now that we have that touched off on, let's get into today's episode. Let's put two minutes on the clock. I got five hacks plus one bonus hack plus one freebie all within two minutes. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in myself, but I'm gonna sure try to get it all within two minutes. So let's get right into it. All right, hack number one. If you're in the middle of your meeting and you realize that there should be other people attending your meeting, you're gonna wanna invite them. Now you could go down to manage participants and go through about five steps just to simply invite people to your meeting, or you could cut out two of those steps by simply hitting this keyboard shortcut, going right to the email services that you wanna choose from, and enter in the email addresses for the people that you want to attend your meeting. And that's gonna save everybody on your meeting a lot of time. All right, hack number two. If you have a lot of devices cramming your Wi-Fi network with streaming services, virtual meetings, and homeschoolers, that can really bring your internet service to a standstill. And this is detrimental to your virtual meetings when you're trying to speak, because oftentimes it will cause your video and your audio to freeze up. Well, if you use this keyboard shortcut, you can turn off your video. And turning off your video will actually increase the likelihood that your audio doesn't freeze up when you're trying to speak. Now just hit the keyboard shortcut again and your video will turn back on. All right, hack number three. If you have a kid that just doesn't understand that mommy or daddy's virtual meeting time is your quiet time, or you have a dog that has just an ongoing feud with the mailman, that can create a lot of background noise that comes right in through the microphone on your virtual meeting and can cause disruption. Well, if you hit this keyboard shortcut, you can mute the microphone on your virtual meeting. Just hold down the space bar whenever you wanna talk and that will unmute your mic. Let go of the space bar and your mic will mute again. All right, hack number four. If you're the one that's hosting a Zoom virtual meeting and you're asking other people to attend that Zoom virtual meeting, it's always a good practice to ask people to raise their hand if they have something to say. There's nothing more annoying and unproductive than people who are trying to talk over each other. Now, when you encourage the people who are attending the meeting to raise their hand, it's not the literal action of them raising their hand. You can encourage your meeting attendees to use this keyboard shortcut. And if they hit that keyboard shortcut, Zoom will raise a hand next to the user's video who has something to say. Now, if they hit that keyboard shortcut again, Zoom will lower that hand next to that user's video. Hack number five. Now, despite all the work that you put into making sure that everybody knows the best practices for attending your meeting, and there's always gonna be that one person that doesn't understand the power of muting their microphone. All the background and ambient noise that's going on behind them is coming in right through their microphone and disrupting your Zoom meeting. Well, if you're the host, you can hit this keyboard shortcut and mute the microphone of everybody who's attending your meeting except yours. Now, if you hit this keyboard shortcut again, that will unmute their microphones and allow you to continue on with a more collaborative virtual meeting session. All right, guys, so it's time for the two bonus tips that I promised you guys, and the first one is the one that I appreciate the most because I need it the most, and it's Zoom's 
beauty filter. So if you go into the settings tab on your Zoom virtual meeting, you can apply a beauty filter to your Zoom camera. What that does is it softens up your skin. And for me, it helps reduce these dark circles under my eyes, helps me look a little bit more presentable, makes me look like I have my stuff somewhat together and I need all the help I can get in that area. All right, bonus tip number two. I've thrown a lot at you guys and it's a lot to remember and honestly, there's a lot more hacks and hotkeys that I could give to you, but that would be way too much for you to remember. So I provided all these hacks with all the additional hacks that I didn't talk about in today's episode in a downloadable PDF on the description to this video. So make sure you go down there, download these hacks, use them and you will become a Zoom virtual meeting pro. So that's this week's episode of Two Minute Tip Tuesday. As always, I fail to nail it within two minutes, but you guys are getting accustomed to this, right? Just cut me a little slack, give me a little credit. I might not have nailed it within two minutes, but I'm getting better, I'm, I am improving. And plus, I did give you five tips, which I think that will really help you become more proficient with your Zoom virtual meetings. And I gave you two bonus tips. Cut me a little slack, give me a little bit of credit. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you like this video if you found it helpful. Make sure that you subscribe to the Homes for Heroes YouTube channel and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we publish a new episode of Two Minute Tip Tuesday or Digital Dive with Homes for Heroes or Real Talk with Homes for Heroes or any of the other great content that's coming out of the Homes for Heroes YouTube channel make sure that you hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.